tomorrow I am leaving for New York. We're back in this spot. That. That, we're more than halfway done with Vlogmas. It's finally packing time. What just happened? Hello, my I mean, she, I hope so. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. I know we keep starting off the vlog here. I'm sorry, that'll change starting very, very soon. Today is a very, very busy day. I just got out of the shower. Oh my God, so much is happening. Tomorrow, I am leaving for New York. It's like an annual New York trip that I do every year. I'm obsessed with New York, and I can't go longer than a year without going. So I am leaving tomorrow, and I have not done anything, not packed anything. So this morning has been a very busy morning off camera, just like cleaning and doing all that boring stuff. Okay, so what had happened was, was I asked my mom to cut my hair, and she said yes, and she said she would also blow out my hair. She never wants to blow out my hair, so I'm taking this as a gift from God. And I'm gonna get my hair blown out by my mother so I don't have to do it. I just got a haircut a few months ago, but what I've been doing is cutting my hair very often because every year since I was in like seventh grade, I've gotten this hair treatment called the keratin. And what it does is basically a straightening treatment because I hate my curls. I'm starting to like them more, but they're kind of gone. So we're trying to cut that treatment for the past how many years out of my hair, bringing back my natural hair because my hair is literally not the same. There's a toilet flushing. How cute. So that is the goal. Slowly cutting out my hair and bringing back my curls. Hopefully. It is so early. I'm ready, mother. Good morning, Pepita. Oh my god, you look so cute right now. How did you sleep? You slept good? I could film her all day. Okay, now I'm ready in this spot. And we're done. They're just a bunch of mini pieces this time. A few long ones, but not as much. That one though, that one you did me dirty mom. But then when you start brooming it up, it looks like you cut a puppy off my head. And that's when I get mad. Pipey, this looks like you. Is it in the back? Good. See my roots and like everything is really curly. I don't know if you can see But like this is all chemicals because it's so straight. So that's what we're cutting out slowly I don't want to shave my head. So this is what we're doing. We didn't have time to do my hair So we will blow dry it later because I have a 10 a.m. Appointment to fix this this can you see this that Oh my god, I always click it back in, but it falls out all the time, and when I'm driving, it is so scary and so annoying. So we're fixing that today. I mean, hopefully it's an easy fix, and I don't have to like leave my car there while I'm in New York or something, but we will see. Also, I just wanted to say really fast, I just realized that we're more than halfway done with Vlogmas. Like, what the hell? I'm so happy. I'm so proud. I haven't given up. I haven't had a mental breakdown. I've gotten in this schedule of like vlogging, and then at night I edit and it's scheduled up for the next morning. I mean, besides the fact that I haven't packed for my trip yet, but nothing's new. I do this all the time. I would say at this point, I am a pro packer. I'm seriously obsessed with these sunglasses. My mom saw me walking out and she's like, I want them and I said, Sorry, you have to speak with my manager, Chris. Because I am Naya Kardashian or whatever. At least that's how I feel with these glasses. <laughs> okay, I realized I literally left my camera in the car with them and it was literally like, facing them probably as they were working. It was probably so weird. They didn't know if it was on or off. They probably didn't want to touch it, but that was also stupid of me. Like I could have lost my camera, but they were so, so nice. So I had nothing to worry about, but you never know. Be careful with your shit. It's all good. They said it was like a clip and they had to clip it back in. And then they also filled my tire pressure cause I had, I had some warning signs on. It was a little low, but I thought it was because of the change in the weather, so I was kind of ignoring it, but it was only a little bit under, but that was so nice of them. I have no lights on, except for that I don't have my seatbelt on because I'm not driving. So it's already so early in the morning, and we have so much done today. I'm so happy. It's finally packing time. Okay, so here's the dealio. It is five right now, and I leave for the airport at 3 a.m. We're in a lot of those hours. Hopefully, I will be sleeping. So we need to get this done now because the night is ending very soon since I need to go to bed to wake up that early. And you guys saw, this is what my suitcase currently looks like. Not one thing in it except for, oh, I have an international charger, whatever. But besides that, nothing. 
This is my planned out in my head. So I'm there for four days. I have one outfit here, one outfit here, one outfit here, and one outfit there. So it's like planned, like I have it, but then there's like this kind of stack that I need to fit in there. I just need to get shoes. I need to get makeup, skincare, toiletries, you know, all that stuff. So you guys are gonna pack with me today and it's gonna be a good time. We need to get my makeup. I think I'm just gonna use this silver mermaid bag for my makeup. I love it, I love mermaid things. And I think it's so cute and it's huge. It has so much room. <gasps> I want you guys to see what just happened. This is why I'm not the biggest fan of baking powder anymore. Look at, I have it all over my hands. Ugh. Update, still a mess. It's all over my floor, but we have my makeup ready. This is literally all the makeup I bring. It's not that much, mainly because of this palette. I make sure to bring a palette that has eyeshadow, blush, highlight, so I don't have to bring as much, but at the same time, I have to bring my favorite blush, my favorite bronzer, but at least I have eyeshadow, blush, and extra goodies all in the same spot. Aspen by Tarte Palette, sold out, but love her. All the necessities, honestly, just... Not that much, and then a couple of different lip products just because I'm trying to serve looks in New York, and um, it's just the season of dark colors, so I'm very excited about them. Wait, this would have been so bad. I almost forgot mascara, eyebrow gel, I'll bring an extra mascara, chap stick, and an eyelash curler. I'm so dumb. I would have, oh my god, and brushes. I would have been so mad. Why am I dumb? Okay, now that is all. I have my brushes, I have... Just stuff, I don't know what I was thinking. I knew I didn't have enough and I was wondering what was going on but it was because I literally forgot all the necessities to even do makeup. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, That's kind of getting me nervous. Hopefully I don't forget anything. Okay, makeup is packed, it's all set, it all fits perfectly with plenty of room. So now that that's done, we're gonna move to toiletries. So I have this bag that I literally never empty because I just love traveling and I have a bag ready for whenever I wanna book a flight. Ignore the ugly closet, I know, we're never gonna get over it. But basically this bag is so good, it's huge. It has so many different pockets. I got it from TJ Maxx. On the top I usually keep medicine, which is always in there, don't take it out, and then I'm gonna add some accessories. In the second one I have stuff that I literally never take out of here. Shampoo, conditioner, Oh, this deodorant's empty, that's why I bought a new one. We've got just hair products, basically a few Q-tips. Oh, and a toothbrush. I literally have a toothbrush that I keep in here and I don't take it out. That's how much I love traveling. Third one, we got perfume, lotion, moisturizer, and this is where I will add my the rest of my skincare and a razor. And then the bottom one, it's usually meant for makeup, but my makeup doesn't fit in here. Like, it fits in this pouch, but then the whole thing won't close because it's so thick. So in here, I literally just put scrunchies, and I oop and I oop, they're necessities. Okay, I just added everything to it. I just added a few earrings and some clips because I don't need that many accessories since I'll be wearing scarves and hats and stuff. Just some medicine, just in case, like I said. I added makeup remover wipes. I added some more skincare than I needed. And then just a few scrunchies because let's just ignore that. Hello, Piper! Okay, we've got everything laid on the bed that I think should be going in the luggage. We've got one, two, three, four days of clothes two pairs of shoes, socks, hats, scarves, underwear, pajamas, more pajamas, toiletries, makeup. We even got some feminine products because I think I'm getting my period up there which pisses me off. So I feel like this should be pretty easy to get into here. It's not as much as I've ever taken in the past. It's actually, I'm doing pretty good. I'm only bringing essentials. Let's do this. Well, that was so easy. Everything's super poopy. That's the only problem, but I'm only going for four days, so it's not that many stuff. And then I take these two backpacks specifically to New York every single time I go. This one specifically, I carry it around the city, so I'm gonna put this in my suitcase to check it when we go, and then I take it out for the city. In this front bottom pocket, we just have those feminine products and some cough drops, just in case. And then in the main pocket, right now, I have an umbrella, because the weather isn't looking too great for us. I have my Kardashian sunglasses. Glasses. I have a little snack of peanuts from my last trip and then for my last trip I also have a poncho which might come in handy We will see and then obviously later on I will add my wallet my phone my camera blah 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 So I'm just gonna check that right there and it's gonna close hopefully and then this 
is always my go-to airport backpack, mainly because it has a whole compartment just for your laptop. There's literally nothing in here right now except for my wallet and a few cough drops and feminine products. Because in here, after I edit tonight, I will be putting my laptop, my laptop charger, my camera, my camera charger, my SD cards, my hard drive, so much. So this backpack is mainly meant for YouTube. And that's it. Also my iPad for the plane because I'm going to download a movie from Netflix. Even though it's only like a two hour plane ride, I'm probably going to knock out the whole time. And then life hack, I always keep an empty water bottle in my airplane bag because once you get through security, you fill it up and you're good to go. You don't have to buy that airport water that's like $4. It's the best tip I could ever give. And it just goes perfectly in not so perfectly into the side of my backpack just like that and since it's just my computer and technical stuff it doesn't get that big or heavy so it's really nice I just have to pack my straightener after I straighten my hair and I can't think of anything else now it's time to try to close this buddy there we go that wasn't too bad now we have to make sure it's under 40 pounds Yeah, I think so. I mean, shit, I hope so. Now I'm feeling so good that everything is packed. I'm not as stressed, but now I have to straighten this hair and look how short it is. Hopefully when I straighten it, it's a lot better. But my mom cut it very short this time and she like shaped my face, which I love that. But back here, we will see. Okay, hair is done. It is so, so short. I say this every time, and you probably don't even see a difference, but I feel like it is so short, and it's gonna take some getting used to. We're trying to cut out the dead as fast as possible. But last life hack of the day, what I do the night before, if I have a really early flight in the morning, I just sleep in what I'm gonna wear to the airport. I'm sure a lot of people do that, but I do that literally every single time, and it is a lifesaver in the morning when you're walking around like a zombie, and all I have to do in the morning is brush my teeth and wash my face. It is so, so nice. And I have my bag ready, my backpack, and then I'm just carrying my jacket onto the plane. So we're all set. I'm literally leaving in a few hours. I'm so excited, but I still have to edit this video and then hopefully at least get like four hours of sleep. We will see. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and click that red subscribe button down below. And I will see you all tomorrow in New York. Bye guys. Bye.